Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It's your boy, Worst Effing Gamer, and I'm back with another Soul Hunters Awakening video, guys. This is the official awakening of the newest and greatest hero in the game. Gremor is about to be awakened, guys, so we're gonna get this beast awakened, and let's see what he's actually all about and how cool these guys are actually gonna look. Because right now, they look like uh, two clowns in a dragon body, all right? So let's be honest. Let's go ahead. Let's start this awakening. As you can already see, I've gotten the first part. Their item already, uh, you know, finished Infernal Spikes and Enchanted. So that'll help us out, you know, to actually see how powerful they're going to be. So now we're going to jump over to part number two and see what these guys got to do. So for part number two, you're going to have to do the Dwarven Forge six times. I've already done it four. And today, everything is open. Bountiful Caverns are all open. So which means we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this guy awakened one day earlier. I was expecting to awaken him tomorrow, but hey... One day earlier, never hurt, so I'm pretty excited about that, guys. So let's go ahead, let's go back, and let's accept the second quest here. Complete! And part number three, they have to do chapter 14 without anybody dying. Simple enough. Hey, hey, let's go ahead. The Batman! Let's go, Mika. You, and let's go you, why not? I just really want to get through this very, very quickly here. No more waiting around. Tremble and fear before us. Oh, big talkers. They talk a big game, but let's see if they can handle. Yeah, this is, oh, that's too easy, man. That's too easy. That is too easy. So check it out, guys. If you haven't seen them before yet, if you haven't checked out the spotlight video, this is what they do. Fire or ice, take your pick. Ooh. Now look at his ultimate right now. Go, freezes everybody up. Also doing damage over time, damage. Alright, so they're doing damage and it slows everybody down, which is pretty sick. It's a really nice ultimate. I take no prisoners. Ooh, that's what Batman said. Actually, he didn't say that. He said the complete opposite. He says, I only take prisoners. Give give me all the prisoners you have. We never shall be defeated. Ooh, ooh I like that. Alright, guys, we're getting inching closer here. We're getting very close. So, if you're ready for this, guys, uh, drop your pants and pick them back up. Because I don't want to see that. Let's go ahead and accept complete. What the? Come on. Oh, I misclicked. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Hang on a second. Is it just me? Or did only this guy on the left change? The other guy didn't change much. Was it just me? God damn it. The wings definitely changed. And this guy just got spikes. He just became a badass. Ooh, badass. Whoa, whoa, what? Yo, this is so much different. Oh my god, that looks sick. <laughs> All right, their necks are completely intertwined, guys. This looks awesome. I kind of like it. It's. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be comical. You know, if it's funny or it's... I'm not sure what they're trying to do with this. If they're just really powerful, but they don't know it. That's kind of what it seems like, but Gremor is looking pretty cool. Wow, I'm liking that card a lot. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's break down Gremor's ability here. And uh, as I look here, I am... Yep, I completely agree. The bad guy has not changed at all. Only the guy in the front changed. The big brother. Let's call him the big brother. The little brother is still the same. I don't get it. Why not? Okay. Let's go, guys. Let's take a look at this ability here. Ruins are open. That's good. Immortal Fear. All right. Every time Grammar deals damage to an enemy, the enemy's magic armor will be reduced for three seconds. When Grammar has seven stars, enemies who take damage from Grammar will have magic reduced by 140. What? When he's seven starred. What about when he's five starred? Um, I'm guessing it will be reduced. Yeah, so... This will be reduced... I don't know by how much per star level, guys. I'm not really sure, but... Set a star is where you want to be at at the end of the day anyways. But anyways, so this is going to reduce magic armor. That's a pretty good reduction right there. 180 is a lot to reduce magic armor by. So um, I'm pretty hyped about that. I really can't wait. I'm going to go ahead and max this out for you guys here. Because I really want to know what the end game is going to look like here. Come on. It's... It's probably like the other abilities, maybe it goes down 10% per star. That's how the other ones are, so 218. So if you're at 6 stars, it's 10% less. 5 stars, another 10% less than that, but... Alright, so that's for that, guys. It looks pretty cool. We're reducing magic armor. 
Now let's take a look, and if I have any good wounds, that's physical. We, nah, that's physical too. Damn it, everything is physical. All right, so I don't have any good wounds for these guys right now, so I'm not gonna give anything to them at all. But I do have a pet on them, which is a torch. If you guys don't already know what torch does, four percent magic increase and health 2.5 and the uh, ability here i have not maxed out the ability as you can already see is because uh it's very costly don't got the gold for it 20 seconds after his master enters the battlefield torch boosts his master's magic attack so that's perfect for these guys obviously they're magic dealers right so so far so good guys let's move on all right next thing let's go to the forge and let's go ahead and do our auto forge basic auto forge 50 times here just to give them that small little itsy bitsy little boost that they're gonna need um i've already done their heroic academy if you want to see what i worked on heroic academy make sure you guys check out the spotlight video for these guys because that's where i did the heroic academy so after we do this one guys the only thing left to do now is to take them into a battle and see what they're gonna be all about what they're gonna do in the battle because uh, right now the meta game is physical as you guys already know and um uh, Magic heroes have kind of fallen a little behind, so I'm guessing they're trying to slowly work them, you know, a little bit into the meta right now, so. But believe me, there will come a day where magic will be the new meta. This is how it goes. It's kind of hard to balance the game out every single, you know, month. But, so far so good. So, let's see, magic pierce rating, max health, and another magic attack. So, pretty cool for a DPS hero, magic DPS, right guys? So, let's move on now to a battle. All right, here we are, guys. Battle time. And this is the team that I went with. Volko and Batman. And also, Miro will end up going to the other side, which was going to take a lot of attention away from uh, uh, Gremor here. That's kind of the plan. But damn it, he got hit by uh, Haruk there, which is going to kind of hinder him a little bit because of his... Damn it, his ultimate is probably not going to be able to use it. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe we can kill Haruk in time here. So far, it's looking good. Come on, Dremor. His problem so far has been HP. His HP has been the problem in defense. Uh, he dies already without even getting an ultimate in, which kind of sucks. But um, thanks to Volko, Batman, and Petros here, looks like we got the win. So we still got the win. But Gremor died. But, oh my god, what? Uh, did you guys see that? He died... Didn't even get an ultimate off, and he still had more damage than pretty much everybody but Volko. Wow, that's incredible. That's a great showing right there. Holy moly. And that's pretty sick, guys. Very impressive, because if you take a look, uh, this is for the number one spot in the arena here. So that's very cool. Wow. All right, let's try another battle. All right, so battle number two, guys. I'm in the epic arena here. So let's see. Uh, kind of a little bit different team, but same kind of concept. Volko, Rayman. I'm trying to get as much attention away from him as possible. Let's see if it works out. Uh, because if so many heroes now can penetrate your backline. Damn it, he's dead already. Oh, God. So once again, he dies really quickly because that's how the arena works, guys. Most heroes now can jump the field and hit your backliners pretty quickly. So it's kind of hard to keep your weak magic heroes alive. Kind of the same concept goes for um, uh, Desmond. If you if you have Desmond and you know about Desmond, he got really, really high magic power, really high attacking power. But he just dies too quickly because of how the meta is working right now. And we lost this one. But that blues, let's see the damage here. So, he still does so much damage. I'm so surprised. I mean, damage output is phenomenal. He does a lot of damage. Just cannot survive long enough. Especially if you're facing this kind of a team, alright? You can definitely, definitely use um, Gremor here. But it, you cannot face Batman. You cannot face Rayman. You know, Volko. Those kind of heroes, Morphir, Tanya, there's a lot of counters to these kind of heroes right now. So that's the only downside that I'm kind of seeing to this guy. Damn. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, those are a couple of battles that I had with him. So like I said before, that's my impression of him right now. If you have Gremor, you could use him. He dishes out a ton of damage, so don't get me wrong. Really, really good uh, like that. You can definitely catch people um, you know, off guard. In your epic arena teams, if they don't really see him there, because he does a lot of damage. But, in your arena team, I just do not see this guy viable at all. I think he would die really quickly. Uh, gotta test out some raids, because he does a lot of AoE damage. So, he could be maybe useful in some raids, but don't know just yet, alright? So, for now, 
I'm going to give him a pretty good grade. He's a pretty good hero, but I just he's not a top tier hero, guys. Don't see it just yet. Alright? Unless meta changes where you know what I'm saying. Somehow the meta changes where you can kind of prevent heroes from jumping to your backside and kind of keeping him alive a little bit longer. That would save him a lot. Other than that, right now he's dying too fast. In my opinion, right? But either way, <laughs> I kind of love this awakening. I think it looks a lot cooler, a lot funnier, and uh, like he definitely, definitely deals out a ton of damage. So still pretty cool hero. And that'll be it for this awakening, guys. I will catch you guys next time on another awakening video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace.